Hello students, in life never feel that life is dragging you, life never drags anybody. But if at all at some point of life you feel that if it is, it is life is dragging you, then trust me it is doing so because it wants to launch you. The way an arrow is dragged before it is launched. So today in this class of ours we are going to study what is heredity and evolution. This is a chapter in biology of class 10. Before we go into the depth, right, at outset, let us just explain what are character sort traits. These are the terms which we will be very frequently using uh, while explaining the concepts of the chapter. So let us right at outset understand what character sort traits are. See, characters or traits are those recognizable features with the help of which we can tell one individual apart from another belonging to the same species. Now, if two human beings are there, homo sapiens, and let us say both of them are male, and one of them is tall, another is dwarf, so we can tell he, this man is tall, this man is dwarf. So height is a recognizable feature. If the skin color of this person is fair, and of this person is dark, we can say these two are different people. Like this, there are large many characters or traits, color of hair, texture of hair, shape of hair, shape of nose, shape of teeth, ear lobes attached or free, and uh, n number of characters or traits are present. So once again, I am telling you, what is the meaning of character or trait? A character or trait is a recognizable feature. See, recognizable because you should be able to say just by looking at. If you want to make a comment about the sizes of the hearts of the people, just by looking at them externally, you cannot. So this cannot be called a recognizable feature. But skin you can definitely recognize, recognize that this person is fair, this is not fair, this person's skin is not fair, dark complexion. So such features are called characters or traits. Those recognizable features with the help of which we can tell one individual apart from another belonging to the same species like uh, ear lobes are free or joint and uh, skin color i said hair color the texture of hair shape of hair etc so this type of things are called character or trait heredity is transfer of characters or traits from the parents to the offspring now let us say here is a father here is mother. Let me call this is father and here is mother and this is offspring. Offspring. When these are mating, this child is produced, so we call it offspring. And heredity means uh, transfer of characters or traits from the parents to the offspring. Father is tall, mother is dwarf, and child becomes tall. So I will say the character height has been transferred from the father to the offspring and if father is dark complex the skin is dark and the uh, skin of the mother is uh, fair and the child becomes fair skin so we say the color of the skin has been transferred to the offspring from the mother like this the transfer of characters or traits from the parents to the offspring that is called heredity and if evolution in this chapter at length we will study what is evolution what are the evidences for evolution so right at uh, outset, let us just explain what the evolution, uh, how it is defined. So it is a sequence of gradual changes, sequence of gradual changes that takes place in primitive organisms for billions of years and finally results in the origin of new species. It is believed that a uh, donkey was grazing grass on the ground. But because of some reason, let us say unknown to us, the grass became unavailable for them to graze on the ground. So they started eating the leaves of the plants. So with this what happened, uh, increment in their neck started and the length of neck kept on increasing and finally one day we say the giraffe came into existence. So this is origin of new species from an existing species. So that was evolution. Uh, once again I will tell it for your benefit. That evolution means sequence of gradual changes. See, overnight a uh, donkey cannot become giraffe. But millions of years, for millions of years when these variations 
kept on accumulating in them uh, origin of new species took place so sequence of gradual changes that take place in primitive organism for millions of years and finally results in the origin of new species that is called evolution and variation this is very very important uh, people confuse that variation means difference of characters or traits uh, in a rat and a mouse rat and a, an elephant so it is not no variation again is difference of characters or traits among the individuals of the same species difference of characters or traits among the individuals of the same species and also it is difference of characters or traits among the offsprings or splings that are born to same parents so that is variation and genetics if you talk about see genetics is that branch of biology in which we study heredity and variation so these were the terms while describing them uh, different concepts in the chapter again we will come across these terms and we will again discuss them but just uh, giving you a rough idea what these things are so that is for your benefit rest we will see in the next class